Developing story tonight on Deer Island with the police are investigating the discovery of possible human remains. That call came in just after one o'clock this afternoon and within the last hour, the medical examiner did arrive on scene and in fact just left. We are expecting an update from investigators any minute now. Fox 25's Kerry Kavanaugh is in Winthrop with information on who first notified police. Kerry? This is as far onto Deer Island as we can get right now. Security blocking access as state police and Winthrop police continue to investigate. Investigators fanned out on Deer Island Thursday afternoon. I was here like exactly when it started. Savannah Siani says she was walking her regular route on the trail around the island when police arrived. From Sky Fox, you can see the investigators in the area near the shore where a witness made a startling discovery. They appeared to be looking uh, for something down there. We are following breaking news on Deer Island where this computer generated image of a little girl could help solve a mystery. Investigators say this is what the toddler found washed ashore last week looked like. Hello everybody, Maria Stefanos. And I'm Mark Ockham, also new at 5. A look at what she was wearing when she was found. Fox 25's Bob Ward is live on Deer Island and Bob, you saw these photos up close for yourself. Yeah, that's right, Ock, and this is the computer image, and it's stunning, really, because it's so lifelike. This could be a school class photo. That's how good it is. Somebody must know who this child is. Satsuma, Florida, Taunton, Mass, Milford, Mass. Trooper Dan Herman showed us one of the spreadsheets investigators are working off of. We've had hundreds and hundreds of calls. As the tips come in, money. that work begins, like this one they received today from someone who believes a missing Colorado girl could be the child from Deer Island. Police will investigate but believe this particular child has been missing too long. They showed us how the composite of the girl has evolved since the quest to identify Baby Doe and determine how she died began in late June. A passerby spotted her remains in a trash bag. She was wearing these pajama pants. This blanket was alongside her. Today, Fox 25 met exclusively with the Mass State Police detectives working this case. In my opinion, it's somebody close to the child. It's either a family member or a caregiver that would be responsible for this. Mary Ellen O'Toole is a retired FBI profiler who spent her entire career studying the criminal mind. I asked her to look into the case of the Deer Island Doe, the little girl found on June 25th inside a trash bag on the shoreline. Despite this lifelike image seen 50 million times on the internet, we still don't know her name. But we do know she was wearing a clean pair of leggings, that she was wrapped in this fleece blanket, and now we know this little girl had pierced ears. This was a child who was who was taken care of. But what happened to this child and why leave her here on Deer Island in a trash bag? O'Toole believes investigators may find answers with social service agencies and probably local police departments. They're looking at um, children who have come to the attention of welfare agencies and law enforcement before. Mass State Police say they now have a DNA profile for Baby Doe and that they are in the process of sharing that with law enforcement agencies across the country. The hope, of course, is to find a match or a link to who she is. And as we've been reporting on Fox 25, digital billboards are now being used in the ongoing effort to ID that little girl. State police put together a composite image of the girl, and they have posted it on 84 billboards around the state to reach as many people as possible. Breaking news, this sweet face finally has a name. Chal's name is Bella. Happy second birthday, monkey! Investigators identify Baby Doe. I'm, I'm glad, um, you know, we finally um, know who that young child is. This is a very sad day uh, for all of us. And track down her mom. I thought that DCF must have taken custody of her when I didn't see her around. Tonight, who else is in custody? At least the beginning of what I would call closure for her. Fox 25 uncovering new information in the Deer Island mystery. Since June 25th, we've only known this little girl as Baby Doe, her body found on Deer Island, her face shown on billboards across the state. Then this morning, Fox 25 uncovering who she is, her name, Bella Bond. The woman who helped police solve this case says she's just happy this young life cut short now has a name. It's a criminal investigation and there are, are other things surrounding it that are not for me to say. The Belrica woman who we are not identifying says she was the one who called investigators with information that led to the ID of Baby Doe and the arrest of her killer. The child's mother, Rachel Bond, is also charged with being an accessory and helping her boyfriend, Michael McCarthy, get rid of the body. I am a mother. Um, as a mother, it's 
unimaginable that somebody could do that. Disturbing details of a heartless crime. But he said she was a demon anyway. It was her time to die. She knew at that moment that her daughter was dead. Now anger, outrage, and unimaginable grief. I hope you rot in hell. I'm leaving. You rot in hell. Tonight, a mom and her boyfriend locked up as new information about the last moments of baby Bella's life are revealed. Tonight, Bella's mom and her boyfriend are behind bars after being formally charged in the little girl's death. And tonight, we have shocking new details about this case that really has captivated the world. Here you can see security was tight as investigators walked Rochelle Bond and Michael McCarthy in a bulletproof vest out of lockup and into court. Fox 25 has team coverage for you tonight. Heather Hedges has more on the tip that led to an arrest, but we begin with Bob Ward, who was there in court when Bond and McCarthy faced that judge. Bob. Yeah, that's right, Blair. You know, this all started unraveling Wednesday, sometime on Wednesday, when this little girl's mother told a close friend of her boyfriend's that little Bella was dead. Her body was stuffed in a trash bag and dumped into Boston Harbor. After that, things moved very, very quickly. Now, Baby Doe has a name and two people, including her own mother, charged in this case. In Dorchester District Court, we see them for the first time. Rochelle Bond, Bella Bond's mother, and Michael McCarthy, Rochelle's boyfriend. Just feet away, Joseph Amoroso, baby Bella's natural father. Based on information from Rochelle Bond, a prosecutor said Michael McCarthy was obsessed with the occult and demons, and one night in May, he went into Bella's room to quiet down the fussy and crying child. Hundreds gathered here to remember a little girl they'd never even met, and while residents say they were the first to embrace baby Doe, now baby Bella as their own, and tonight they are bonded together by her loss. Hundreds of strangers huddled together for comfort, brought together by a little girl. I felt like I, I knew her. I've been following the story and I have children and grandchildren and it just touched my heart. That feeling that Bella Bond is Winthrop's adopted daughter echoed by so many in the crowd. I mean, she's a little girl I never had. My heart's broken for that little girl. Now 5.30, we are updating the breaking news happening tonight. A Fox 25 source telling us investigators have just obtained another search warrant to search the home of Rochelle Bond on Maxwell Street in Dorchester. And Fox 25's Ted Daniel is joining us live right now with the latest. Ted? I've been watching that search for the last half an hour. About eight detectives have been going in and outside of the house, and I just confirmed from a police source that prior to our arrival that two things taken out of the house were a refrigerator and a mattress. If you may remember, as this story was unfolding last week, Fox 25 source told us that Bella Bond was placed in a refrigerator after she was killed and may have been in there for a month. Now with breaking news, this is Fox 25 News at 5. Complete New England news coverage. The grand jury indicts the mother of Bella Bond and her boyfriend in connection with the little girl's tragic death. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Ockeblum. And I'm Vanessa Welch. Fox 25 broke details of the indictment in this high-profile case late today. We've been digging into this investigation for weeks now. Fox 25's Carrie Cavanaugh is live outside of Suffolk Superior Court in Boston with a disturbing new charge against the toddler's mother. Carrie? Vanessa, a source first told us this afternoon that in addition to the accessory to murder charge, a grand jury here at the Suffolk County Courthouse also indicted Rochelle Bond for larceny. That larceny charge stemming from allegations she allegedly continued to collect state benefits even after learning of her daughter's death. Six months after two-year-old Bella Bond was found on the shore of Boston Harbor, a grand jury has indicted the two people accused in her murder, her mother, Rochelle Bond, and mom's boyfriend, Michael McCarthy. Fox 25 broke news of the indictments that were handed up Friday afternoon at the Suffolk Superior Courthouse, and they include a new charge. They accuse Michael Patrick McCarthy of first-degree murder in the child's homicide. Rochelle D. Bond, the child's mom, indicted on being an accessory after the fact of that murder and with larceny for allegedly continuing to accept public assistance from the Department of Transitional Assistance after she knew of Bella's death. Prosecutors believe Bella was murdered in late May or early June. Police arrested the couple in September. 
The case captured hearts across the country when a passerby discovered Bella's body in a trash bag on Deer Island in June. For months, she was only known as Baby Doe. No one claimed her. A tip led police to the child's mother and boyfriend. They believe the couple kept Bella in a refrigerator before discarding her like trash along the waterfront. We asked prosecutors how much money Bond allegedly collected in benefits since Bella's death. They said at this point they could only say it was in excess of $250. More details expected to come out on that when the couple is arraigned in January. Live in Boston, Kerry Cavanaugh, Fox 25 News. Fox 25 sent out an alert on this development as soon as we learned about it. You can get breaking news alerts by downloading the Fox 25 app for free to your phone.